These are some ratty gloves. The basic tarp up for the night. Now let's add some extra guy lines in this space. All right, here we are in Rhode Island, late January. It's uh, about 20 degrees, maybe a little colder. I'm gonna drop to the low teens tonight. Figure a good chance to test out my winter setup and do some cold weather camping. All right, all set up. Now we got my tarp, the Winter Dream 12. Inside the old Dutchware Chameleon Hammock. Quilts are hammock gear, a zero degree underquilt, the incubator. And inside the new guy, I got the zero degree burrow top quilt. So looking forward to giving this setup a test for some cold temps. See how we do. I want to do with my green, little green thermometer. So I'm going to use this one instead. We'll be able to test how warm it is inside the hammock as well as outside. Mm. This is great because it has an endless supply of wood falling from the sky. Just constant stream of little branches falling down, so there's plenty of wood. Hopefully it burns. Just about time to get that fire going. That should do for now. I can always get more if need be, but I don't think I'll run it too long. I'm going to want to climb into my bag. Collect some firewood, we'll have a little fire, get some grub in us. And then we're going to climb into that hammock and Enjoy a quiet night. Hopefully a quiet warm night. Trying something new on this trip. An alcohol stove. There you go. Just add alcohol. So the stove is very simple. You pour up to two ounces of denatured alcohol. It burns for about 15 minutes. It's about enough to bring this amount of water to a boil. So a goodly amount, enough for dinner and a drink, or to warm up a water bottle before dinner. It does use a good amount considering it, it, it uses a lot of fuel per ounce. So you're using two ounces of 11 here. So for this size, this would get me through today and into tomorrow. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how it works. If the wind's too much, I can move it over there. But uh, it's super light, super basic, and super cheap. So we'll give it a shot. A little bit of precipitation. Seems like a bit of a wintry mix. All right, about 4:30, 19 degrees out. It's a lovely night. There you go. I'm not sure it's supposed to be doing that. I'm not sure why the stove's doing that. Maybe put in too much fuel. Tested it twice before and it worked well. And now it's pumping out these huge flames much more than before. But the first foray with the alcohol stove, things getting a little freaky, but this job and it's boiled this water. Rehydration at work. And then it's out. All right, well, that didn't work exactly like it was supposed to, but we got boiled water. Yeah, dirty. Something about the fuel is dirty this time. It's very. It's supposed to burn clean, not leave this soot. Uh, look what it did to the pot, just filthy. Uh, so something's wrong with the mixture since the last time I tested it. All right, just keep feeding the fire. On it goes. When the wood's gone, we go to bed. Ice is making its noise. I haven't been doing much running. My knee, not doing great. Every time I try a trail run, it really aches for a couple days, I limp. So, I'm gonna get an MRI, figure out what's going on with it. But I haven't been out too much, which is too bad because we finally got some winter here in Rhode Island. Happy to be out tonight.
Yeah, we're getting a little bit of precipitation. Sleety mix. Put a little bit of white stuff on the tarp. Uh, you can't deny the power of the fire. It keeps you warm. It uh, eliminates the precipitation from being an issue. I mean, I'm comfy here. It's about 16 degrees. I'm just gonna let this fire burn down. I gotta boil some more water with my crazy, crazy ass alcohol stove again, so I can bring it to bed with me. And then it'll be time to uh, go to bed. That's the temp in here. Toasty. The outside temp. 15.4. Okay. I'm in my puffy blue cocoon. And it's definitely warm. It's currently 15 degrees out. Still dropping. It's about 7.30. Time to relax. Hear my blue cocoon. All right, one more bout with the demon stove to heat up my morning breakfast. Yeah, so uh, not my best start to the world of alcohol stoves, but we'll get there. Hey, right, warms my water for breakfast, even if it does make a real mess. Oh, 7 a.m. It is about 10 degrees out. Quiet, beautiful. I spent a really, really good night out here. Slept very well, very warm. Heard the ice cracking. Sometimes it was very loud. It was wild. Great night out here. Gonna, I think I'm gonna get back in the hammock for a little bit and just relax. Now I got some hot coffee. Oh yeah, this is nice. Very happy with the burrow. My new zero degree top quilt. It's a toasty thing. Coffee in my hammock, all right. I really like having this indoor outdoor thermometer in here with me so I can just get real time temps. What's it's like out there. All right, it's almost eight o'clock. I guess it's time to get up. But I don't want to. So this is weird. It looks like the snow is accumulating on the inside of the tarp, but it's not. It's a, some kind of illusion. So hard to get up and do the things that I gotta do. I wanna get up and do them. I wanna stay in my hammock. Oh. Man, this quilt. Uh, we'll have to stuff into a compression bag. Whew. That's why it keeps you so toasty. Get in there. These have become my work gloves, apparently. <laughs> These are old running gloves which got holes in them. That'll be my ashy cleanup gloves, I guess. Jesus, look at this pot. Jesus, Mary Joseph. Which reminds me, if you're in uh, Rhode Island, at the end of January, running through March, I'm going to be in an improvised murder mystery at the Contemporary Theater in Wakefield, Rhode Island. You run it every Saturday. Every week, a completely different show. Takes place backstage at a vaudeville theater in 1904. We make it all up on the spot. I'll be in seven of the ten shows. I'll post the dates. Definitely come check it out. Love to see you there.
Well, that should about do it for this one. Thanks as always for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you want to follow more of my adventures. We'll see you next time.